This video is brought to you by QNAP. Hi guys, welcome to another PKR12 Productions. This is the new QNAP TS220. This is the entry level NAS that you can get with QNAP. Pretty much this is also the first QNAP NAS to actually run or to have QTS 4.0 OS already pre-installed. The brilliant thing about QTS 4.0, if you're familiar with some of QNAP's products, is that QTS 4.0 is pretty much based on a Linux operating system. So you're pretty much operating a version of Linux within a web browser to operate everything that you need to do from its functionality to installing applications to managing icons to looking at things like dashboard and stats but more on that later let's take a look at the NAS itself now as I said this is the entry-level QNAP so basically in Australia you could read these would retail for about 250 to about 300 bucks without the drives. Of course, like most QNAB devices, they don't come with actual hard drives. Now, what we're going to do here we're going to take a look at the specs. So as far as I'm aware, this has a 1.6 gigahertz processor. It's a non-Intel processor. I will get back to you on what type of processor is in it but it comes with 500 megabytes of RAM now to give that you a little bit more perspective the TS269L or the 269 Pro uh, comes with 1 gigabyte of RAM as standard and can be upgraded to 3 gigabytes of RAM and so you can tell by that that it is definitely entry level in comparison now obviously we can see here it says it's easy to use and backup reliable so this is pretty much suited for the home user experience more so than the business end of things with the 269L. So let's take a look at the back of the box here so basically it's telling us everything we need to know at the back here so it's basically got everything you need to know about QTS 4.0 since this is the main feature of this particular OS more so than the hardware so we've got everything from your photo station your music station video station so they're all you know primary applications that come on every QNAP we've also got the TV station here where you get a TV dongle you plug it in and you can use it as a DV as um, as your personal DV for uh, downloading your TV content off the TV and all that type of stuff, TV shows, whatever. Uh, you've got a DJ station, which is basically for your social media, share your music and stuff like that. Download station, manages all your sales, all your downloads. Uh, media station is basically everything. It's a universal thing. You can go on your PlayStation, you can view files, or you can go to Xbox, you can do whatever you want and see those music files and media files and whatever. Surveillance Station Pro is basically an application that controls everything from your surveillance type stuff. So IP cameras that you have roaming around. You'll have to go to QNAP.com to find out which devices are supported for that functionality. File Manager. Now this is based for when you're actually on the OS itself. Uh, rather than being at home, you can actually go into the File Manager through the web interface and actually go as if you were on it at home on your Mac or PC. Backup Station is self-explanatory. It's basically an application that allows you to manage all your backups, replication, and so on. App Center is the QNAP App Store, so it allows you to download extra applications on the actual thing itself. So basically, if you wanted to download Dropbox, which you can get for the QNAP, you can go into the App Center and download it and basically have Dropbox directly off your NAS without having to bother another computer you can have it directly have it syncing to the NAS itself 
print server, that's self-explanatory. If you want to share your printer through our USB, you can do that through the NAS. Right, so let's open this baby up. Okay. There's the usual thank you at the top there. If you want to take those codes, you can. Let me zoom those in. So you guys can just go straight to those sections. All right, so let's open her up. Let's see what we have here. Zoom out. Okay, first things first, we have obviously the QNAP instructional guide, which is one piece of paper, clearly. Very simplistic there, as you can see. And as you can see there, you don't need to go to an IP address anymore. It just goes to a HTTP start.qnap.com, which takes you directly to your setup. Cool. All right, so usual stuff here. We've got our Australian power adapter. You can see right there universal one so you can plug in whatever you need to plug in as well as an ethernet cable so that's good let's take those to the side you've also got the screws in there as well if I mentioned for your actual hard drives that you want to put in there so let me just put that to the side okay we also have our Australian plugs obviously we need those Cool. Now let's open. Now let's take out the main event. All right. This is the NAS itself. Right there. It's fairly light. It's a white box, as you can see right there. This is fairly lightweight, does feel very lightweight actually for a NAS, but yeah, obviously the hard drives are not in there, so that's why it's probably lightweight. So, you can see here the NAS has its general ability, these are plastic in comparison to the metal ones that they have on the other QNAP models, so yes, that might add to the weight, as you can see down the back there add to the lightness of the weight I mean. Alright, so we've got our general buttons here that we see on most QNAP NASs. So we've got our power, we've got our USB share button which is you plug in, you press that and you get it to share. Uh, more on that later. You've got our status, we've got our LAN, we've got a USB and we've got our two hard drive indicators. At the back here we've got our Fan, we've got two eSATA ports, we've got one Ethernet port and two USB 3.0 ports, and of course power. And that is basically it. This is the NAS in question, so it's a white all over NAS. Now I'll give you more on this later or when the review comes up. And uh, yes, this is the QNAB TS220 the entry-level model for the QNAP, and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.